Oh my god. Ugh. What happened to you? <laughs> Damn. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, everybody. Uh, in this video, we are doing some scientific stuff. So, in this video, we are making our own oil pastels. Yes, that is a clickbait title. I'm not making them from scratch. This is, we're actually using old oil pastels that I will probably not use. Uh, we're gonna be making our own colors, but technically I am making my own oil pastel. It's better for the title, so just bear with me. So what I did was I used this uh, rubber reusable Amazing remelt stuff took a little bit of it melted it in a container and while it was still a little warm I pressed I pressed in two oil pastels to make a, a Mold obviously how did I melt the oil pastels you might ask well let me show you I took the silicone mold and I dumped a whole bunch of oil pastels in I simmered some water and put the mold in the water so this obviously didn't burn i poured the melted oil pastels into the mold made my own oil pastel so i'm actually gonna make a new mold so let's go ahead and go on to this adventure get out your don't get out anything actually this is you should not be doing this this is not a tutorial <laughs> let's go and before you ask this is my 20 pound bag of rice i like rice so this right here is my case of old oil pastels that I barely use. Look at how many there are. There's so many colors I can make. Let me tell you, I've had most of these oil pastels for like 10 years. I'm not even kidding you. But these are not the only oil pastels I have. Let me show you another bag. Míralo. I was gifted these big ones a long time ago, but I never threw them away. Maybe I can use them. Come follow me. Now you are not seeing my kitchen because is ghetto looking, so I'm gonna be zooming in a lot. Uh, I put new hair stuff in. It smells so delicious. So here's the old mold that I'm gonna go ahead and re-melt. And then here's another, here's like a fresh piece. I'm gonna melt these in the microwave. And I have the oil pastels I wanna go ahead and mold after. So uh, let's go ahead and melt this, I'll be right back. Come on, and your sister in your job. Don't know how long I was supposed to microwave this. Oh, whatever. It ain't a tutorial, so shut up. Okay, it's getting a little gooey. That's almost perfect. Hold on. A bit longer, just a little bit longer. And so hot and so spicy and so hot and spicy. Uh uh, uh uh, stop. I want it to be perfect. Here it is. I'm really trying to get it out this damn mold. Tupperware container. There we go. Ooh, they look good. Sometimes I'm a genius, y'all. Sometimes you forget. While this was cooling down, I actually made another one. I, I made a mold with these big ones. Because I'm like, why not? This is the mold. That did really good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is the other one. As I said, I used the fat ones. Now, because they are so big... They actually sank to the bottom, which is okay because when I cut them out, they'll be touching the bottom so I can pour, like flip it over and it'll look like this. Does that make sense? <sighs> I'm drinking a Fresca. <clears throat> I'm down here. So here's all the oil pastels. Ooh. I have some red Solo cups to go ahead and divide my colors throughout. It is going to take way too long for me to describe what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward and just show y'all what I'm doing. Hey. So pretty much I'm doing exactly what you think. Just separating some colors, uh, like reds, blues, some browns. I want it to make it uh, crispy. So as you can see here, I kind of crumpled up my oil pastels. I did throw in a couple creamy, super creamy ones, like this green one. This is a super creamy one, is Mungio. Just to make everything kind of stay creamy, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and fill a little skillet with some water, put this, heat it up, and put this on top, and then put a little bit in it, and this is gonna be our little test. I'm gonna clean this up real quick though. This is my skillet, do not judge it. Uh, she has been through a lot. This is what I used. The first time I did the whole oil pastel thing. So there's oil pastels everywhere. So I'm gonna set this in here. All there is to do is to put the oil pastels in there. Oil pastel. Oh shit. 
I can't stress this enough. This is not a tutorial. Don't do this. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, I did unwrap all the oil pastels and I try to break them down as much as possible. It took a while to melt, but uh, in the future, I think I'm going to like shave them. You know, like just, you know. Anyways, they poured like jelly. Oh, look at it. It's so sad. Mm. Sorry. And then like I had a little bit more left and I wanted to top them all off. Okay, so here it is. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, these look a lot nicer than when I first did them. That's a pretty emerald color. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the rest of them. Look how pretty that is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna make a little lighter, maybe darker. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. So here's how the rest of the greens and the blues turned out. It ended up being like this you know, yellowish green. It's, it's pretty, it's really cute. Anyways, I ended up doing all the other colors because I, I don't want this video getting taken down because I don't want y'all to think that this is okay. But this pink was gorgeous as well. Like I said, I did this two years ago now, two and a half years ago now. Um, and it was, it was a different experience. It was, I made a lot less and I didn't know what I was doing, but this time around, I really did something. Look how many I made. I filled about four solo cups with oil. I didn't fill them, but you know what I mean. I made a lot of oil pastels and they are so juicy. So as you can see, they're very like kind of like neutral colors. They're not super um, saturated. They're kind of actually the two of them are the red and then this next blue one. Look at this. Look at how vibrant this blue is. Now they are a little phallic. I will say that <laughs> they're a little <laughs> The shape of them are a little Questionable, but anyways, this is how they swatched Y'all know how much I don't like I don't like swatching. I think I'm sorry I'm gonna say it like I hate swatching because swatching is not how a like how It doesn't represent how an oil pastel is supposed to be used. You know what I mean? Like, maybe for some people it helps, but, like, this is not helpful, in my opinion. This is not showing how much I like these oil pastels, because they kind of suck. All these swatches suck, and I also don't know how to swatch. I just rub them on my hand, which you'll see me do here in a minute. Now, don't click off just yet, because I will be making an art piece with these. But, I also want to admit that this was actually done, like, me making these oil pastels was done on Christmas Day. <laughs> so this is really old footage. I did this a long time ago. And funny enough, I've actually done a lot of oil pastel artwork pieces with these oil pastels. Y'all probably just didn't know because I didn't tell anybody. Anyways, these are the hand swatches. Oh, damn. Oh, you know I was mad. That night, I probably stayed up until, like, 5 a.m. doing all this because I did it at night. Uh, but here's all the hand swatches. So let's draw, let's draw something. So I did have a plan to only use the oil pastels that I made, but since the colors I made, weren't, none of them were deep and, and uh, dark, so I couldn't have a lot of contrast. I just ended up doing a mixture of the oil pastels I have and then the ones that I uh, made. But I made sure to restrict the color palette to the colors that I you know whipped up because I didn't want it to be too crazy, but I wanted to use all the colors I made. Does that make sense? Bear with me. This piece was different. It is showing a little bit darker on screen than it is in real life. In real life, it is a little bit more lighter and more pastel-y. But in the video, it, it's showing a little bit more more contrasty. I don't know what, why. But anyways, I'm too lazy to edit that. Okay, not being being extra with the pink though. Anyways, I like I said, I wanted to have a base and pretty much use the colors I made for the base and then work my way blending and layering with different oil pastels now like i said these oil pastels that i quote unquote made are a mixture of different brands and consistencies some of them that i use are very very hard and super old and some of them i use were damn near brand new and super soft so the consistency with some of them were different than others um, I would say my favorite has got to be that very vibrant blue and the pink. Those two were the most opaque and creamy. Um, the brown was also really nice. 
uh, my least favorite has got to be that darker green and then the darker red. Because I do think that I used uh, too much of the drier oil pastel. But anyways, like I said, none of this is a tutorial. This is just my head and what I'm doing. So, pretty much finishing up the piece, I wanted to do something different in the background. Like it was framed, but like framed from behind. Ooh. That sounded weird. Frame from behind. Anyways, I wanted to do something a little different, a uh, little more abstract because I wasn't too proud of this piece. So I, I just wanted to do something funky. I wanted to take risks. So I put a layer down, scraped it off, and then um, hurry up and scrape it off. Damn, hurry up. I should have sped this up. I'm too lazy to change it now. Hurry up. So, and then I added these like little weird lines on top because I wanted some texture. Uh, I did not film me doing the yellow inside because I'm stupid, but did this gray on the outside. And here it is, all done. Made my own oil pastels and my own art piece with it. Check me out. Rate me on everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, click that little bell so you know when I post. <coughs> oh, this scratchy scratch. Why, how did I almost forget that? Anyways, this is done. Over. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't do this at home. Bye-bye. Click that bell. Subscribe.